Welcome back on everyone, let's continue with Nightingale. Let's continue with our journey into the forest of Antigorn Realm. Let's open the portal and let's go to the new realm. From there we're gonna learn about the upgrading Martus. Now we just have to wait for... Oh, this never happened before. They patched it out. They usually never attack before when I played. So they patched the out this completely. That's good. That's good to know. And here we go. So here we are. We arrived to the Antiquarian Forest. Now we have to continue with our main quest. If you want, you can read through. It's up to you. Even this tool. Yep. Just read it through if you like it. Made required an aid. Okay, is there a way back to Nightingale? Uh, Labyrinth, yeah, Nili Billy. Destination, how to reach Nili. Some sausage. Round title, prove yourself, okay. Guess I can give you a try. We just have to gather some essences i think tier one essences ruins essences right then there we go uh, that's quite simple to do just go explore the ruins you find some random ruins you complete their task like a puzzle or kill etc etc uh, sometimes in these we find some chest inside so it's worth checking around. You never know what valuable stuff you're gonna find. And now we have completed this one. We can go back to the Aurelo Acevedo. We can continue with our quest. Yeah, I return. I complete the first trial essence. No trouble, three out for a reason. It was supply spyglass, so we learned about the spyglass and simple upgrade bench. Yeah, I'm ready for the next trial. Uh, haven't told me what trial you need to improve your tools. Fusion essence, okay. Okay, no more explanation. I'll come back once it's done. So we just need to upgrade our common tool. If I remember correctly, you need 40 tier 1 essence at least. And to make the upgrade tool, where is it? It requires ingot as well, a lumber. So I need to build up a small base. Build it near the river. There are some stones usually laying around. That's an interesting looking statue. Mm, let's build a temporary base up here. Hailstorm. Uh, against Hailstorm is just easy to protect. Just use umbrella or go inside the building. It doesn't last too long. So you don't really have to worry about that much. But sometimes it's annoying if you're fighting with enemies. Okay, we set up some upgrade bench. It tells you how to make it, upgrading equipment, attributes and such. I set up some basic home here. As you may see, easy to go down to the river to gather the uh, ores. I still have to set up certain stuff as well, but that's much later. Let's upgrade the tool. Uh, the tools doesn't have to be upgraded. I mean, repaired in order to upgrade. It will automatically will do it. It requires 40 essence. Um, I recommend doing the pickaxe first, because then you can gather the level 40 irons and such 
And then later on you should maybe axe and axe other tools. Okay, we got it. Now we have to craft an infusion. I think that's in an enhancer table, so I'll be back for that as well. Since I have no enough uh, tier 1 essence, I have to gather some, so I'll be back once I have enough. Of course, while you're on the road, don't forget to gather some boars and such. Because you need the leather and especially the meat for your for survival. Because having extra HP and stamina will help you to travel through these areas. Oh, I might got stuck. No, never mind. And what else? You just look around for these challenges. There you can get the tier one essences which is scattered around the world usually they look like these some of them are puzzles some are enemies so this is the order puzzle so that's quite simple Anything down there? No. And of course you get your... Uh, uh, blueprints. And you can get some favors. This favor is power. So you deal more damage. Occasionally, in the distance or close by, you see like colored trees. Like separate looking like for example that tree contains like high level mining and these contains higher level uh trees like it's likewise level 10 axe and they're like level 10 herb it's 40. sometimes there are berries as well scattered so this is how you can get higher level tiers just look around for like unique biome as you may see i got better herbs this plant fiber tier one forest fiber each has like different like benefits like this gives extra maximum hp so you can make slightly better gear out of these stuff this almost feels like you can break it if you need the spell to break it who knows well, this will be a bigger challenge here. I think so. Let's check it out. Ah, for this challenge, you need to find the hidden hidden markings on the wall. This is the most annoying one to do. But there are usually lots of chests, and I hear some enemies. Oh, my my minion. Can kill them. Oh, ow. Well, I hate these guys. But usually these guys drop ingots, yeah. And those are higher tier ingots. So worth looking around. Also, you should gather these as well. These as well. Sometimes they give you uh, blueprints as well. Not always, but one marking. It could be anywhere in this map. Of course, if you cannot access these, you just build your stairway. Quite simple. It's either is fine stone or could be wood or stone. It's up to you. Whichever resources are uh, accessible. Uh, as you may see, some of them behind the walls in order to access them. So it's worth to always bring your pickaxe. Oh, I fell down. I soon need to rest as well. And using the dagger also useful. That way you can go across these things, gaps. Anything here? Nope. 
This is for door opening. There should be another one somewhere. This is why I dislike this challenge, because this is way too long. Pull the quick bad to rest. There we go. And always remove these. And you can kill these guys, but they don't yield anything. These little balls. Sometimes they show you the way there are the runes. But it's not always. Oh my goodness, some of them are outside here as well. Yeah, the ledges. Still not enough? Like, is it sort of... Oh, there's a pickaxe area. Ah, here it is. Still not the... Goodness. Where is their last one? Drives me crazy. I almost looked everywhere I could. A few moments later. Right, it became dark. So, let me rest quickly. Yeah, I'm awake. Uh, I still need to find the last piece of... I really don't know where it is. It was here all along, I didn't notice. Yeah. But it's give you way more, uh, way more uh, essence if you complete these. Usually it's better to complete with other players because it's easier to find. Oh yeah, lots of berries. And usually like where the, these higher level trees are, you can also find berries. Lots of them. But this is why it's very important to look for these. Uh, and uh, for the ore ones, you necessarily just go near to the, like, either the up in the hills or near the river. You have you're gonna find lots of them then. I didn't that go yeah, I have good spy glasses. So with spy glasses you can know what creatures are here. And gowns. That's a rare creature. I think if you do a hard shot, it's instant kill. If you manage to hit it. Uh, that's quite difficult to get it. And occasionally come across like these guys. Ooh. I like your gear. I like your hat especially. And you can help the, these guys out. And they can join you. Okay, I slightly improved the graphics. I'm gonna lag more, but at least these foliages doesn't look that ugly. Up close, especially. Okay, I think I should be done with this quest. Yep. Very good. Now I don't you. I don't need you, Franklin. I want Lee. Does he have better gear? No, but he has this whimsical hat. 
But usually they is take much longer to complete. Maybe now? No. Wait, he's, is he ignoring me? See, sometimes I don't know which is the heart. So here we are, back at the base. Now we can craft our infusion. Doesn't really matter which one you're gonna craft. Take some time to craft. You can speed it up by making sure that fire runs, because there will be light. Let's upgrade one of our gears, maybe. So you have infusion. Uh, I cannot apply it because I don't have the right material, I mean equipment for it. I don't really want to use it on these. I think it needs an armor. Uh, yes. It will also increase their level of the ar armor. And the next phase would be to go to the tower, the Fate Tower. I think Singer can accurately complete tower encounters. So you have to go these Fate Towers. Also, once you complete that, you reveal all of the location of these, like, insights, challenges, and etc. Let me store on one of a few of my items away before going. Yeah, I managed to craft all the food that I need. And time to go to the Fey Tower. You can mark it on the map. That way it's easier for you to navigate. Meanwhile, I can talk about the food. You can have maximum three food buffs. Oh, wait a second. These wolves I need to kill them. There we go. They are all dead. So, where was I? So, you may have maximum three food. I mean, three food buffs. And... I, as I demonstrate for you, I have one, two, and there's... Wait, there's the third one. And usually when you take a new food, either a different type, then it will override the first food you ate. So occasionally you find, like, occasionally you can make, like, nectars. Those are really good food buffs. It's worth math, worth getting these food buffs because uh, it helps you fight against enemies, having more stamina, etc. And HP will help you tremendously. And I also, while I was at the base, I upgraded my backpack because, in my personal opinion, the backpack would be the first priority to upgrade. Backpack. The, uh, the mining pick and the simple wood axe because that way you can uh, gather a tier I mean tier 2 uh, materials and I would also suggest the hunting knife as well but it's up to you it's cost 40 essence you might want those essence for something else okay here we go now we enter this fate tower The mob's gonna spawn. It's a bit lagging. I need to set up. Maybe this improves. I don't know. Unless I need to restart the game. And of course, you get lots of tier 1 essence in the Fey Towers. That's why these are worth getting, because these are quite easy to finish. If you have the right tools, equipment. Come here, guys.
hammer is really good for this uh, against horde of enemies. Apparently the axe doesn't help you with that. Should be done. And it should show on the map, yes. Once you're done, it shows on the map where are the rest of the challenges to complete. And it's quite useful to have because with that you can gather your essences. So usually you should focus on getting the out yeah you need to be careful there are some traps as well and here is my lotus i don't know what's fair earrings yet i have to check in online but it's very important for portals making portals with these uh, lotuses and let's talk to with buck what's this Intrepid fleshling, claiming bounty from atop the long-forgotten obelisks of fairer folk. Yet hast thou any inkling of what thou holdest cupped in mortal mitts? The synchronous lotus is no simple bauble, but a potent fey bijou, filled to bursting with a mere sliver of the realm's magic. It is the scavenged foundation upon which your kind so often builds their fanciful toys. Forget not that it was we who bestowed magic unto man. Without such generosity, what might the children of Earth have been reduced to? Though, even with my kin absent, there is great danger in plucking our pelf while foregoing reciprocity. What luck we two are, friends, that I may beteem this boon unto you. And since you now possess the means to power it, I have another gift to grant. One more of Robin's favors parceled. The means to construct a portal of one's own. In eons past, portals were notoriously taxing and toilsome for humans to conceive and maintain. However, in the turmoil following the Calamity, I chanced upon a newfangled arch design that dares to make elementary what was once unattainable. You need only seek the materials required to raise this crude apparatus and place the lotus therein. Erecting it will create a contract with this realm's spirits to tame the interrealmic lacuna. Use it well, Realm Walker, that you may yet catch the flown nightingale. Hmm, thank you, Pa. So with that, I can make my own portals. Oh, it's a hailstorm. So with that we have to return to talk the quest, but meanwhile I think I'm gonna gather all the necessary like challenges here. The main reason is because I want to unlock all the blueprints. That's the one of the easiest way. Also I don't want to spend uh, my tier one essences on the Essence trader, unless I gathered all the materials here. So I'll be back. Restarted. See if it improved the frames. Mm, yeah, slightly improved. 
you may see after restart it greatly increased the and then his invisible stuff reappear something to do with distance i think where is the entrance to this place ah uh, here see it runs much so much better is this a combat one i think it's a com combat one so enemies will gonna spawn Should have eaten before. Uh. I have to press it multiple times, I guess. Unless I'm doing something wrong. We'll find out. Ooh. Be of these guys. Oh, nice. Since we are here, we can talk with uh, AAO. Not gonna pronounce his name. Yeah, return. I complete the second. Yeah, hoping. Plenty of murder. Ah. Okay, very good. Ancient clothes, beacons, 1B ceremony. Third trial. Ah, yes. Have a... Yeah. Okay. Where is Nelly? We are in desert. So we need to unlock more cards to get in the better, more difficulty, difficult zones. So I'll be off. Maybe uh, maybe our uh, path cross again. Now we have to unlock all the cards in order to get to that those zones. Let's quickly upgrade. See, it's 80 and becomes like almost double damage. Okay, I managed to upgrade most of my gear. I still need to upgrade these two, but I don't have enough essence. It will help me out. Especially my weapon helps me out. Um, let's go to the dungeon. After that, I finish the rest of the area and then I go back and I'm gonna explore the desert and the swamp to see if there's extra blueprints. Yeah, this is the best time to stop. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode. Bye bye!